Hello and welcome to this valid structure video. In this video, I will show you how to upload your term one data to the dashboard using the Valley Structor. You will need the internet, the Valley Structor app, and your term one data. Let's begin by opening Valley Structor. As you can see, mine is on my desktop. I simply double click on it. And if yours is not on your desktop, you can simply go to this Windows button here, click on it, and start typing Valley Structor, V A L, and it will find Valley Structor. First thing that we will need to do is find the current data. If you click on browse, it will allow you to go to the school's database. First thing we want to do is verify that this is the latest information. So if I put my cursor right on top of the database, it will highlight and it will show the date. Click on it and then click open. Now the next thing I want to do is uh, make sure that the year is 2020 and that the term is term one then click on select. Now notice how the term to date and the final validation buttons are now available. Click on final validation. And it will generate the report. Okay. This is the detailed data verification summary. We want our data to be as complete as possible. The data will upload with the rates, but we want to try and resolve those so that our data is as complete as possible. If the data is red and has an exclamation mark on it, the value structure will not allow that data to be submitted. To resolve either the exclamation or the red robot, what you do is you click on it. It will take you to the summary of the incomplete data. If you click here by the bubble with the question mark, it will take you to a user manual on how to resolve that specific issue on SASAMS. We click on back to go back to our report. Now I can click on the dashboard preview and that will simulate how the data will look like on the dashboard. Okay. And as I can see the name of the school and the statistics, and if I'm happy with that information, I go back to final validation and now I'm ready to extract my data. But before I do, I'd want to click on sign off. It will open a windows Explorer table. Here I can choose where to save the sign off sheet. I'm just going to save it on the, on the desktop. And if I go to the desktop by minimizing, don't close. I can now go to the sign off, uh, to the sign off sheet. Here it is here. If I double click on it and open it, I can see it looks exactly the same as the summary, but it allows the principal to sign verifying that the principal as the accounting officer of the school has verified the data. Okay, and that I'm going to close and I'm going to go back to Velistractor. All right, now that I'm, I've signed it off, I'm ready to extract the data, which is the same as saying I'm ready to upload the data. Click on the extract button. Before I do, a user agreement shows up. It says, I hereby confirm that I've run the end of term validation utility for my school for term 1 2020 and that the data is a fair reflection of my school's information. I understand that this is a final extract for my school's data for this term and that this data will be uploaded and collected for the data driven districts dashboard. Accept those terms and conditions. The value structure will now start to compress the file. Once compressed another pop-up appears asking you if you want to submit the school's file electronically. It also includes the size of the database after it has been compressed. As you can see, in my case, it's 2.35 megabytes. Click yes. And that's how you upload your term data to the dashboard. Should you need any further assistance, please don't hesitate to contact the Triple D Help Desk on help at dbedashboard.co.za. Take care.